election, but we are in the midst of an ongoing election right now at a very contentious time in our democracy. It's probably not normal also because uh, people are already speaking in this election and it seems like we are rushing through this process when many of my colleagues on this committee said just four years ago uh, that we should not proceed to fill a vacancy that opened 269 days before an election. And the words of some of my colleagues, including uh, the chairman, was to use our words against us. We would not do exactly what we're doing right now. It's also not normal, clearly, uh, because we're in the middle of a pandemic. And we have tens of thousands of new COVID infections every single day. Well, well now Cory Booker's like going to blame COVID on the judge, not on me. I don't think. People across our country are struggling, and unfortunately we see that we are right now not... Get him Spartacus. God, give me five minutes uh, in the room with this bald-headed asshole. And the only proceedings that are being allowed to go forward are not the issues of helping people who are struggling, but dealing with this. And it's not normal that we have a president who has repeatedly attacked the legitimacy of our institutions. So much so, it's exactly I, I right to have a president to take members. control and so to take power of the country and lead us out of this damn to, dilemma, Corey. Uh, country we all love. In fact, probably one of the most respected person on both sides of the aisle, General Mattis, who served as our Secretary of Defense, went as far as to say a man who has been very reserved. We don't care about, about General Mattis. He doesn't work office. there anymore, Corey. We are at a time that and neither should you, Corey Spartacus Booker. Get your ass out of the Senate. The independence of the court out of my back pocket. Nominate justices who would tear down Roe v. Wade, who would overturn ACA. And it's not normal amidst this all. And, and again, something that I find hard to believe that we're talking about is that we have a president who cannot commit himself to the peaceful transfer of power. The president has committed himself to anything that's legal. Nomination. Uh, it's an illegitimate process. Most Americans think that we should wait. Today, and I, and I appreciate uh, you not following. Well, you know, you, you might want to consider me might not name, most we'll Americans. I want the seat filled. Am I the only and one? If I'm the only one, one, hit me down in the comment page. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I'm just trying to get a thousand subscribers so I can go live. But listen to this crap. This guy's telling you that he, he stated my position, which is not my position. The overwhelming majority of Americans want to wait. No, they don't. I voted for President Trump for four years. I want him to fulfill his duties the entire four years. Supreme Court nomination. So don't speak for me, Corey, Corey, Spartacus, Booker. I ask you, and I hope that you will give me direct answers. The first one, um, uh, you've already spoken towards issues of racism and how you deplore it. But I, I want to just ask you very simply. I, I oh, my gosh, he, he's going to call the judge a racist. Um, help me, God. You condemn white supremacy, correct? Yes. Thank you. I'm glad to see that you said that. I wish our president... Uh, would say that so resolutely and unequivocally. Well. I, I condemn time. right supremacy, Cory Booker, but we're going to end this one quick because I wouldn't have a problem wrapping a rope around your neck and sorry, dragging your stupid ass answer. behind a pickup truck because that's all you deserve. I'm Do out. You